This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. You do that job, and then she'll have everything she needs, your money. If I have to call in some more boys from Broker, it's gonna cost Mancini a whole lot of fucking money, and he's not gonna like that if we have to fucking do this job ourselves, okay? You're close, you could do this nice and quick. Okay how you do it? Just fucking do it. All right. Jesus fucking Christ, Richie. Sorry for my absence, Don. Holy shit, look who's back. Oh, it's been a few days. You mind telling me what the hell's been going on? You no, know, I've had to go back see Mum and Broker with Dad. See how they're doing, you know, just the usual thing. Oh, yeah, I hope she's doing you, okay, you yeah? Oh, yeah, no, 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 listen, I didn't know. I, I, I completely forgot, it slipped my mind. And uh, forgive me about that. Uh, how is she? Everything okay? Is, it, is, she still, is she still holding up? She's all right, she's hanging in there, you know. All these <laughs> tough breaker ladies are always hanging in there. Ah, well, it's good to have you back, okay? Uh, you let me know if you need anything. Uh, just hang around, eh? You haven't worked in a while, so I'll have you uh, watch over me for today, okay? Say, uh, right? Yeah? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, excellent. Yeah, just uh, just a little uh, catch up here on a few things. The training, uh, yeah, that went well uh, yesterday. I'm pretty happy about that. The boys uh, and all that seem to have... Uh, you know, really found a groove now, so we should start making a little bit more money and look uh, way less ridiculous. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. I think they, uh, I think they learned what they was doing. They learned the new ropes, and they know what they they're gonna do now. And they, hopefully, yeah. you know, now they shouldn't fuck yeah. up. But if and if if they do, then uh, you know, it's not a big deal, right? Because I mean, uh, no, they no, know it's their right. fault. By the way, uh, you know, Richard is. Uh, you know, it's just, you know, he's a little sensitive about it, so let's keep it between you and me. But he's, uh, you know, his mother is, I don't think she's the one as well. And, uh, you know, so, uh, but he's back. You know, let's just uh, cut him some slack yeah. a little, eh? Of course. I mean, bless that guy, I tell you. Fucking, uh, I knew when my mother got sick. It, it's hard on you. It's really hard, you it know. It's, it's, it's terrible. And, you know, cancer is a bitch. Yeah, cancer is a bitch. It really is. Uh, anyways. Hey, gentlemen. Excuse me. Huh? Drinks are ready, boss. Whenever you're ready. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, thank you, Banks. Sal arrived and quickly pulled me and Jimmy aside to tell us something urgent. Well, uh, uh you're telling me, uh, the Yankee went to his mother's, huh? That, that's what he tells you, huh? Yeah, well, that's, yeah, he told that's me what he told me. Uh, he told right. me before, too. He said his mother had cancer, the down and broke her. And, uh, uh, you know, it's hitting her really hard. She's an old lady. She can't fight it. So, yeah. like that. he's... Yeah. Terrible, terrible. I remember hearing the dude. Real terrible. However, this time he's full of fucking shit. You sent me down to look for him earlier, Mr. Moretti, and uh, I found him down by a shop in uh, down near the Unicorn. I followed him, checked where he was going, and uh, he parked in an alleyway not too far from the docks. Met with a guy called uh, Mickey, okay. who had some very yeah. interesting things to say. Apparently, Mickey works for the Mancinis, and uh, he has hired fucking uh, me. Mr. Bianchi to... Uh, Killed both of you and uh, whoa, whoa, gain information whoa. on you. <laughs> Nobody's around here. Oh, inside voice, inside voice. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay. You, you. This is a serious accusation, Sal. Very serious. I heard it with my own ears, Mr. Moretti. I promise you, there's nothing, not no lies here. What did Mickey say? Mickey told him that if he wanted the fucking money for his mother's fucking, uh, you know, her medication or fucking operation, whatever the fuck it is, he had to do this shit right the fuck away. They didn't want to wait fucking longer because if they had to wait fucking longer, Mr. Mancini would have to bring more boys out for broker. Now, Richard told him that he could do this tonight. Oh my god. How the fuck's yeah. he even gonna do something like that? Take out. Wait, he, he clearly. Mickey said Jimmy and Tony, yeah? Jimmy and Tony, both of you. Of course he did. Course Jesus Christ, Jimmy, what did I tell you? Fucking eh? They're fucking they're both after us right now. <laughs> Holy shit. He's a snitch. Yeah. He's a fucking rat. Uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? Boy, young, okay. young. He's a fucking rat prick, that guy is. Okay, shh, shh, shh. let's contain Aika here, okay? 
Now he's of course. he's back at the house, you know. So I'm guessing he's going to be sticking around. Now he has no idea you were following him, right? No idea whatsoever. Okay. So as far as we're concerned, he doesn't notice. So what we can do? We'll go to the scrapyard, and we're going to teach everybody in his family what happens to a fucking rat. Well, back to work we go, eh? Yeah, we do. Okay, take up positions. Eyes open. Hey, old time. Oh, I was gonna open your door for you. Yeah, okay. Well, you're that. You're, you're so yeah. used to oh, it. Yeah, you're so used <laughs> to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, everybody, yeah. Everybody, everybody, boys, your attention, please. Okay, we got some work to do. We're gonna start with the warehouse. Okay, simple enough. I'll uh, I'll guide you guys as we get up there. There's a few things we're gonna have to move around, so I'm gonna need some extra strong arms, and uh, you know, it's time to work out eh, a little bit. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's go start there. Everybody here? Yeah. Everybody here, boss. All right. Excellent. Well, let's go. All right, everybody assemble around here. Okay, so today's task, uh, you know, before I start uh, letting you know what we need to do and start moving, I just wanted to make sure that uh, we get a few things uh, out in order. You know, last time we were doing some exercises and uh, we didn't really have time to finish up. Now, uh, but there was a few things I let you know. You know, I said uh, what we needed to do and, uh, uh, you know, how we have to respect and all that and do your jobs right. Uh, and uh, obviously another thing I told you to do and I've told this many times was to never fucking betray me put your hands up right now <laughs> want everybody here to watch right pick a nice comfortable spot here because today's lesson gentlemen today's lesson is what not to do in the familia <laughs> wouldn't you call that a good title there Jimmy what not to do in the familia. Love that title. Very fit. Well, one thing you don't do, and I'll tell you right now, okay, just so you're all clear, is you do not betray your family. Did everybody here know that already? Yes, yes, like, uh, yeah, 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 boss. Yes, boss. Yes, sir. Yeah, common sense. Common sense, right? You don't betray the boss. No matter where you go, you just don't do that. And today, gentlemen, we've learned some very sad news. Our friend Richard, Bianchi, has been caught betraying this family. So, I want you to tell me right now, Richard, were you, and I want you to be honest here, but were you gonna fucking kill me and Jimmy? Tell me right now, and I don't want no fucking lies. Yeah. Good boy. Honest. Honesty goes a long way. Jimmy, do you say he might have won a point there? A chance to survive? Just one percent more? Yeah, the dead man, Bianchi. Oh, oh that's a shame, Bianchi. It looks like Jimmy is not feeling it. Is not feeling it. You know what? I'm just trying to give you some hope here. But really, I'm just busting your balls. You know what? In fact, uncuff them. We're not pussies here. Think I You're not gonna do anything stupid, are you, Bianchi? Of course not. Of course not. Now you're gonna tell me, why the fuck were you gonna kill me and Jimmy? And you're gonna answer me now! Ever since... I uh, got the news. I was, uh, I was really down. Everyone could see it. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that's when someone came up to me. After I told them. What's his, what's his name? Well, they'd done it. They, they just, they, 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 they just had way for the So you were gonna kill us to save your mama? Oh Jesus Christ! Oh man, that's actually fucking something I cannot give more of a shit about. You fucking asshole! Ah! <laughs> you think I give a shit now? Your mother, God rest her soul if she does die. And God bless that woman if she survives. Because it's not her fault that she raised a fucking chooch like you. You fucking rat! That's what you are. <laughs> uh, fucking oh, idiot. No. Don't shoot him. You're gonna be on a fucking floor. Stop right now or you're dead. You're fucking idiot. Stop right now or you're dead. Piece of shit. 
You realize what you did? You come to this family. Jimmy even fucking offered you the fucking bank account to help you out with some bills. I don't like what I'm seeing here. I want to let you live, because I'm not a cruel man, but what you are about to do against me and Jimmy and this whole family is really unacceptable. You see, people, I want you to know right now and look at what happens to a traitor of this family. Just remember, everybody, be a stand-up guy. Have your eyes and ears everywhere. Yeah. Especially your rear-view mirror, Richie. <laughs> you live and die by the gun and the knife. We knew the Cardinal was involved heavily with Andriachi, and Sal had recently got a hit on his head, apparently from them. So it was time for us to get closer. Jesus Christ. I'm actually hiding a the best under this. All right, all right, all right. Shut right. the fuck up. I'm here. Shut the fuck up. All right, here we go. Okay, we got some shit to talk about. So, just paid Cardinal uh, Salvatore a visit with a voice. Yeah. And, uh, uh, sad enough, we desecrated his holy land, whatever the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> yeah, of um, course. Like he cares for real. But we were very respectful. Didn't raise no guns on him. His his buddy pulled out a gun, but uh, you know they they defused that shit thanks to the banks and, and sale over here. Good job, boys. But uh, didn't raise no gun. I did handcuff him so I could take his phone, but I released them afterwards, and we had a chit chat. Now, a few things to look out for. He, uh, he told me that whenever they used to talk about important business, they would handcuff him and lock him in a closet so he wouldn't hear. He don't know what's going on, but he, he can tell me a few things. So the Cardinal allows he himself to hang around some people who will fucking lock him up in a goddamn closet, tied up? I have a hard time up. believing yeah, him. You know, you go over there respectfully, don't pull guns on him and everything, and you're desecrating this fucking man's land and shit. But yet, he'll accept being tied up and put in a fucking closet. You know, I find that fishy. But carry on, Jimmy, carry on. Yeah, it's fishy as fuck, but honestly, hey boss, I'm gonna tell you right now, looking at him, he, he doesn't know what. He, even if he's not super holy, they don't tell him shit, because he's a fucking blabbermouth is what he is. He told me the regular place they always hang out is the Vanilla Unicorn. If they're not at the Vanilla Unicorn, they're up at the Vila. And the only time they hang at the Vila is if somebody in the higher ups is in town. So if they're at the Vila, we know that's the time when the boss is, is uh, on the clock, you know, in, in town. Well, I told him this, I said, Cardinal. We, uh, we had a conversation right now, and uh, aren't you Cardinal sworn to silence? And he said, yeah, the oath of confession area, whatever. And I said, all right, Cardinal, how would you look at this as my confession? Please don't tell my confession to nobody. Uh, we never met, right? When's the last time I met you, Cardinal? And he said, the last time I met him was at the scrapyard. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. Unless the Cardinal has, uh, you know, so, so he gives us some reason we need to go and fuck with him again. Just leave him alone, okay? Now, if he starts to get involved with him again and starts to do stupid shit, then, uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, from this point on, I want to make sure that there's always somebody over near the Andriachi house. Just keeping an eye there and always somebody at the uh, the strip club, okay? We're all here. We're listening to this. Okay, so make sure it's always done. Have one or two guys. Doesn't have to be a bunch, but have one or two guys always at the uh, each spot. All right, uh, Inspector Gadget, I have a lady coming over. So how about you go in front and, uh, and go uh, greet her and make sure she uh, gets in fine, okay? <laughs> okay. Inspector. Oh, boy. I asked Natasha to come over. Lately, we've been getting closer, so I felt I needed to clear the air on some things. Your lady friend, she's here. Hey, Kakashi, how about you go say greet her? Hey, give her some conversation. Yeah, okay. Huh? Yeah. Was. Let me give you a quick 411. The Cardinal and his buddy, they smeared all of us. All of us. Mm -hmm. So, two of our guys are going down there, paying him a visit. They're going to pick him up, give him a little taxi ride down to the scrapyard, and he's going to talk to you. So, you're supposed to be waiting at the scrapyard now. Do you want to go there and wait there now, or would you like a confirmation text up? We're ready for you to come. Yeah, and I need a confirmation. i got to make sure that they, they nab those two people. Otherwise, I'm just going to waste my time. I'll bring your lady friend in here, and then when it's time to go, you might have to power ways with her. All right. Just make sure I have a soldado close by. Hey there, Cosmo. You could, uh, you could stand by uh, over there by the chair. Cosmo, by the chair. Are you fucking lost or something? Boss. Uh, uh, boss, you want me outside, or...? D C Cosmo, what the f what the actual fuck is wrong with you? J just go in the kitchen. I need you in a minute. Jesus. Tiny guy. Your friend's here. Your lady friend. 
Yeah, of course, of course. Hi, hello. <laughs> Hey. That's Do you need me to wait outside still? No, 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 like no, 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 no. Outside, inside, I'm You've not sure. waited long enough. Uh, my, my, that is nice what you're wearing right now. You want to have a seat? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Cosmo, uh, would you mind uh, preparing a drink? Uh, tequila for the lady, right? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, just a uh, You remember drink. what I like? Well, of course. Of course I remember. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How about you, huh? I can't complain. Oh, that's good. That's good. You know, forgive me in advance if I have to leave, okay? Oh, I completely understand. You're a busy man. Just some people trying to start. Uh, up here is the uh, tequila. Yeah, give it to the give it to the lady. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, hopefully I wasn't interrupting or anything. Nonsense. So have you, uh, worked a lot lately? Uh, I hung out at Sales Place last night, but yeah. it wasn't like a paying gig. It was like a tip kind of thing. Ah, uh, gotcha, But, gotcha. uh, I was there for a little bit dancing with Faye. Right, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what uh, she told me earlier. Kind of happy to hear that uh, you were there, but it's too bad I missed you. Eh? I gotta come encourage you at some point, you know? <laughs> I hope you'll come and see me soon. Look, I know you work at Snow's Club, so I think it's best we just get this out of the way right now. I, I like you a little better than the other girls, you know? <laughs> I think that's no secret, okay? Maybe a little. Yeah, maybe just a little. <laughs> uh, just, uh, just a smidge right Just here. a little. Just a little bit. It's the accent, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> listen, um, we're not exactly on the best of terms. Me and the uh, Snow and Antonio Andriachi. And, you know, I start to detect that maybe oh, he sure. doesn't like me too much. Now, why am I telling you all this? Well, it's because I know you dance at his club. And eventually, he might associate the fact that, you know, we kind of hang out a little bit here and there. To be quite frank, Natasha, I like you a little too much to put you in harm's way. You know, right. he, he doesn't know that. And when he does, it might become an issue, if you understand what I mean here. Yeah. You know, so I gotta be fucking careful and pull out my pink gun if I need to. Yeah, that nice little pink gun you got the other day, eh? But I just feel like it's good for me to be honest with you about this, okay? You're a friend, so I think it's only fair that you know. You, you choose. I'll, I'll understand if you don't want to be around me or anybody here or even, you know... I don't let anyone fucking dictate me. Don't No, don't get <laughs> twisted. I love hanging out with you, and I don't fucking let anyone tell me who I can and cannot hang out with. A, a couple people that have seen me hanging out with you have kind of warned me that this might happen. To be careful <sighs> that Snow might not be happy about it. But I'm glad to hear that you, uh... that you want to stick around, you know? I... <laughs> Put a smile on well, my face. if you'll have me, obviously. Of course I would, <laughs> Natasha. Of course I would. You know, it just... You know, I, I... You know, I sent away my daughter because of this stuff. You know? I didn't feel safe, and... The reason I told you is... Because I, I care about you, you know? And, uh... I care about friends, and I care about family, and... You know, I... Contrary to popular belief, I'm not a monster. You know, I'm only a monster if... You're being a dick to me, and you you earned it. You know what I mean. But other than that, I you know I, I I'm a people person. I like to think, and uh, I just want to make sure that you're safe. You know, I, I would hate some. I appreciate it. Yeah. So just don't be hesitant. You know, I, I'm gonna try to uh, forward you some of my best guys' numbers. Okay. Uh, I appreciate it. Now, I'm a, I'm a little nervous, but hopefully nothing comes through of it, you know. They just leave me alone. I'm just a working girl. Yeah, just a working girl. And That's we all. just happen, we mm. happen to meet. We get along very well. Exactly. I it has nothing to do with, with business. Yeah, I'm not using you to get to him, and I don't want him to use you to get to me, because that puts you in the line of danger. Okay, you just keep working. Right. You do what you need to do. I don't even want you to come back to me with information if you have some, because that would just implicate you, okay? <clears throat> oh, thank you, Tony. But at any time, you don't feel safe, you know, and I know you feel safe. You're a tough cookie, you know, you're a tough cookie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but if you do, okay, just please, just let me know and, and just say, look, I can't do this and, and just go on your way and I, I'll respect that, okay? Just want you to feel right. comfortable and safe. So it sounds like you had a busy day if you're fucking worried about it. I hope everything's uh, all no. right. 
Yeah, that's don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not worried. I'm, I'm not scared or anything. I'm just more looking out for you at this point here, you know. I'm just making sure that you're okay and that you got everything that you need. You do have everything you need, don't you? Yeah, I got a car, I got a gun. What more do I need? <laughs> it sucks sleeping in a car sometimes, but you know, mm. I mean to. Yeah, no, I, I know. I'll get you an apartment one day. You, you don't, you don't have a, you, no, this is unacceptable. Listen, come with me. Wait, what? Come with me. <laughs> it's okay. Look, it's not much, but I got this girl room here, and uh, oh, wow. I'm not using it. And since you're still down on your luck, I don't want you sleeping in your car, you understand? That to me is just... No, you can have yourself a nice room here, as long as you need, okay? You can stay I can pay you rent if you want. It's very nice, but I'm okay money-wise. This is an empty room that's just gonna keep getting some cobwebs all over it, you know, because nobody using it really. Just feel free, make yourself at home, okay? Until you, f you get back on your feet and you find yourself a nice place, okay? I really appreciate you. <laughs> Why does feel bad? No. I'm not used to anyone helping me, you know? <sighs> yeah, well, you know what? I'm just not used to it. I'm an independent fucking woman, Tony. Come on. I know, I know you are. And that makes you a strong lady, and I see that. But you've been strong all your life, okay? Sometimes it's nice to have a little break, you know, and not have to worry. Because this is your home right now, as long as you need it. It was nice to see her so happy, but later, I was pulled away from her to get a problematic update on that dirty little fucking rat, the Cardinal. And what's the problem? Uh, we did find the Cardinal, but uh, he did not seem... Uh, he seemed very intent on suddenly going very much to sleep and just vanished, you know? Ah, uh, right. So, snitches on us and then disappears in the hiding. Absolutely. All right, well... Went out like a little bitch. Was he wearing his nice little red hat and his white gloves? He was. He was. <laughs> yeah. All right, remember remember that, folks, and eh? the information, the cardinal. You're looking for him, okay? Little fucker snitched on us, and he's going to get what's coming to him. I don't care if he's a man of God. Okay, I seriously don't. Business is business. I live on Earth right now. I don't live in fucking heaven. Virgil, uh, Mr. Moretti. Yeah. Another thing. Sorry to uh, keep you. No, of course. Uh, uh, our boy, Johnny Ringo, he got a hold of Baba, the guy who was with the Cardinal. Okay. But uh, he uh, sees the light now, and uh, because of that, he has chosen the side, and he understands that the Cardinal fucked up. He was not aware of who the Cardinal was friends with, and mm -hmm. uh, who uh, Johnny is friends with, and who, yeah. who we are. Johnny also informed me that uh, the Cardinal has called in uh, the Andriachis that uh, tomorrow we will be hit with their full force. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Full so, force. I'd love to see that. The pussies have been hiding for fucking almost two months. Alright? The Andrea Archie's the dead. So, uh, you know, we're gonna hit them before they hit us. Remember what I said? Stake out the house. Attack it as soon as fucking possible. Stake out the fucking club. Do it both at the same time. Get all of the fucking guys around on this, okay? Get four guys at the house, four guys at the club, four guys at the fucking church. I don't fucking care where the fucking guys go! The Andrea Archie's gotta fucking die now. Got it, boss. Absolutely. Yeah, yes, sir. The war between Andriachis and Moretti's was officially on. Hey, get out of the get out of the truck, Cardinal. Get out of the truck. Get out of the truck now. Put your hands up. Put your hands up, Carl. Hold on, can't see. Can't see, can't see. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Put your hands up. <sighs> I'm not gonna shoot you. Just turn around now. Turn around. You know you're making a very big mistake. Yeah. Turn around. Ah, give me the fucking cash back. I That's only right. Let's go. Get in the car. Let's go. Get in the car. We're gonna take a drive. I'll give you Here. cash back depending on how cooperative you are. Let's go. All right, just go get in the car. Kakashi had finally got his hands on the Cardinal. There was no hiding this time. You know, I don't. I'm not gonna shoot a holy man. I just. We just need to have a chat. Go ahead, get in. So you know who I am. Yes. So, how come you went to the cops after Mr. Jimmy and Mr. Sal? treated you with so much respect 
You broke holy law. Actually, nah, we treated you with respect, sir. You still broke holy law. Yeah, well, you know, and I know, that the holy law doesn't really equal the holy law in your It book. applies we, we to know, everybody. We know what you do. Which is what, pray tell? We know that you're not just a cardinal. I am just a cardinal. We know you feed information to other people. I hear things, I see things that everyone else pretty much sees and hears regardless. Well, we've been told, and we've seen you hanging around a certain amount of people, that maybe you're a little more friendly with certain groups. Am I incorrect? I'm friendly with most everyone that I see. I just don't understand why you had to go to the cops. They just, Mr. Sal, Mr. Jimmy, they just weren't to talk to you. You know, I figured we could be honor among men, you know. As much as like, as I love being held at gunpoint in my own damn church. <laughs> well, you know, somebody was threatening one of our family's lives. And we have to know who that is. So maybe you remember what's gonna happen. Maybe you won't remember, Cardinal. But maybe this will get the message across that you shouldn't mess with us. We had given Andriatris and the people enough time. Understood? It was time to do what had to be done. Let that be a lesson. Let that be a lesson to everybody in this town.